Good afternoon, everybody. So this afternoon, I want to show you a little trick that I found on how to save a few bucks when you need to expand your Lynx bus bar system. So let's get started. So a quick recap, if you're not familiar with this system, you've got the Lynx Power In, Lynx Shunt, and the Lynx Distributor. These are all 1000 amp rated bus bars. The Power In is where you connect your batteries. Your Lynx Shunt does all of your amp hour calculations, keeping track of state of charge. And then your Lynx Distributor is where you're going to connect anything that draws or pushes power into your batteries, so solar charge controllers, inverters, etc. Inside the Lynx Power In, you've got your battery negatives going onto the bottom bus bar, your battery positives coming out of the top bus bar, no fusing or uh, no indicators or anything on the Power In. We move over to the Lynx Shunt, which is down here. There's also a built in mega fuse for the entire system. And then over here is our distributor which has fused connections for each input or output. And then there's a circuit board behind it, which will give you indicator lights for if a fuse is blown. And if you have the Lynx BMS, it will also report back to the Lynx BMS on the state of each individual fused connection. But unfortunately, the distributor does not report anything to the Lynx shunt. The only thing that it does is it sends, I believe it's five volt power over here for the lights to either turn on and off based on the state of your fuses. So if you remember a few videos ago, I made a comment about needing to expand my bus bar system. And I actually ended up cramming in more connections down on the very end of the Lynx distributor. And it's gotten to the point that I need more connection points that need to be on the right side of the Lynx shunt in order to properly track incoming and outcoming power. But I really didn't want to pay for the Lynx distributor. And since the Lynx distributor doesn't send any of that information over to the shunt, I thought, well, why pay for these extra features if I can't use them? Because I'm not buying the Lynx BMS. And so I remembered seeing a video, and, and all of this is credited to the Explorist Life channel. I remember seeing two years ago, he made a video on how to add fuses to the Lynx Power In so that it works just like the Lynx distributor, but without the fancy lights. And I thought, well, that's sweet. That saves you a few bucks. And when you're DIY in a system, who doesn't like to save money? The Lynx distributor is what, $211, and the Lynx Power In is what, 150 bucks? So 150 bucks plus a few extra pieces, you can save at least 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you can source your different parts you need. So let's take a look at what needs to be added to the Lynx Power In in order to allow us to add fuses to expand our bus bar system. So I purchased the Lynx Power In from Current Connected, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to convert this over to be able to add fuses. So the only differences between the Lynx Power In and the Lynx Distributor is the fact that the Lynx Distributor has a circuit board here, and then there's also four bolts which allow the fuses to get held in place. But other than that, everything's the same. So over here on the right is the hardware that you would need to be able to add the extra studs for the fuses to go into the Lynx Power In. To add this stuff, there are four screws, two on the outside, and then lift up these protective covers, and then there's two more underneath. And then remove the cover, add your four bolts, into the receivers. Put our cover back on. 
replace the four screws. And if I forgot to mention it, these are M8 by 25 millimeter bolts. And then the washers and nuts are all M8. So then the next thing you do is you take your first set of washers and place them over top of the bolt head, the bolts. And we'll take our first set of nuts. And these will help hold the bolts in place, but also give you a good mounting point for the fuse. And then you would unscrew your positive connection nuts and remove the nuts, washers, and lock washers. Place your fuse across. Re-add your lock washer, your washer, lock washer, and nut. And then you could add your positive cable connection. And then add your extra nuts and lock washers for the additional connections that you may or may not be using. All in a Lynx Power In. So again, I want to thank Nate Yarrow from Explorist Life. I'll link to his channel and the specific video where I saw all of this. He's helping lots of folks save money on these little hacks and stuff regarding the link system. So I really appreciate it. Uh, now I can move on to adding that into my existing bus bar system and then look at adding some more stuff for the next upcoming project, which I'll have to share more on that later. So with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.